Welcome aboard, thrill seekers and history buffs, to a special edition of History's Uncharted Waters. Today, we're not merely stepping back in time, we're leaping into a world that never was. Fasten your seatbelts, because we're about to traverse a timeline where May 8th isn't a beacon of peace, but a pivot point for a globe-spinning what-if. In the eye of this historical storm? Adolf Hitler. Not the defeated despot, but the victor who reshaped the world. Yes, you heard it right. Let's whirl around this alternate Earth, where Hitler's visage is an icon from Times Square to the Great Wall of China. How, you ask, did this universe come to be? Hold on to your hats. We're about to unravel a saga where Hitler didn't just wage war, he conquered it. This journey isn't your run-of-the-mill thought experiment. It's a question that stirred up debates in online forums, under the shadow of YouTube videos, and in the whispers of late-night discussions. What if Hitler had triumphed? Sounds like the backdrop of a dystopian blockbuster, doesn't it? But here, we'll flip through the pages of this untold story, diving deep into a counterfactual rendition of World War II. Brace yourself for a roller coaster ride across redrawn maps and flipped scripts of history. Envision this. The year is 1943, but in our tale, the German army isn't mired in the Russian quagmire. Instead, they're an unstoppable force, toppling cities like a row of dominoes. Stalingrad's downfall is just the beginning, followed by Moscow's capitulation, and Stalin? Merely a blip in this alternate saga. A mere six months later, a peace treaty with Russia doesn't just cease hostilities, it carves the globe anew. But that's just the appetizer in this banquet of alternate history. Hitler's grand vision of Lebensraum transcends the pages of history books, manifesting as a chilling reality. Picture millions uprooted in Eastern Europe, ensnared in a dystopian shuffle, where losing means a fate worse than exile. It's a scenario that could rival the darkest chapters of George Orwell's 1984. But here, it's the harsh reality of the 1940s. Europe's transformation is merely the tip of the iceberg. Britain, subdued and repurposed. Switzerland, a mere annex on the Nazi Empire's banner. And let's not forget Japan, an ally metamorphosed into an imperial titan, sculpting the prosperity sphere across Asia. But make no mistake, this sphere is less about affluence and more about absolute control, with the Nazi regime pulling the strings from the shadows. Across the Atlantic, the United States grapples with a dilemma. Is it the dawn of a new Cold War? Or will they confront the Nazis' arsenal of superweapons head-on? Picture bombers, sleek and lethal, streaking towards New York without a single refuel stop, armed with the kind of armament nightmares are made of, nuclear bombs. In this realm, history books have a darker tinge, and the world map? A checkerboard of power plays and shattered dreams. Step with me now into the streets of this uncanny world, where the familiar is now foreign. Here, the concept of freedom is but a distant memory, a fable from a bygone era. We're immersing ourselves in a society where surveillance surpasses the wildest spy fantasies. Imagine a place where Big Brother doesn't just watch over you. He's the unseen guest at every meal, the silent listener to every conversation. As you walk these streets, you'll notice something eerie. Every corner, every public space resonates with a single, unifying message, the glory of the Fuhrer. Education has morphed into indoctrination. Schools, once havens of learning and exploration, are now factories churning out unflinching loyalty to the regime. In this world, the Nazis didn't just eliminate their enemies, they erased them from the annals of history. Diverse cultures, once vibrant and rich, have been whitewashed or entirely rewritten to fit the new world narrative. And religion? It's been usurped by the state. The new god? The Fuhrer, his every decree taken as divine. As for the role of women, it's chillingly singular, to propagate the Reich with a new generation of unwavering devotees. It's a society where the individual is submerged in the collective, where questioning the status quo is not only discouraged, it's dangerous. But it's not just about control and suppression. The regime has reimagined reality itself. Architecture, art, culture, all reforged in the Reich's image. Iconic landmarks like the Reichstag are not exceptions but the norm. Buildings are no longer mere structures. They are instruments of intimidation, constant reminders of the omnipresent power. Let's zoom out now to view the tapestry of this world, a tapestry torn and restitched by the hands of a victorious Reich. 
Imagine a globe where the swastika is not a symbol of defeat, but a banner flying triumphantly from Europe to the far reaches of the globe. Every continent feels the tremors of this alternate World War II outcome. In Asia, the Japanese prosperity sphere is more than a regional force. It's a global powerhouse. Its influence stretches from the steppes of Mongolia to the shores of Australia. An alliance forms in the Americas that defies all expectations. Native American tribes, perceived by the Nazis as Aryan brethren, rise in a complex weave of geopolitics. The prospect of conflict looms large, not just a Cold War, but a chilling prelude to a potential Third World War. This time, the weapons are more advanced, the stakes higher, the desperation deeper. Africa's story, too, is rewritten. European colonies become pawns in a larger game of domination, where exploitation is not for wealth alone, but for sustaining an empire's insatiable appetite. In this alternate reality, no corner of the world remains untouched by the Nazi regime's shadow. It's a stark, haunting reminder of the fragility of our own history. Journey with me into the technological heart of this alternate 1940s and beyond. Here, the Nazis didn't just excel in warfare, they revolutionized the very essence of it. Envision a world where German engineering didn't just lead to remarkable machines of war, but also to advancements that are as awe-inspiring as they are terrifying. Colossal war machines dominate the skies, while sophisticated surveillance systems monitor every whispered word. The autobahns and high-speed rail networks, symbols of progress, are also tools of control, connecting a continent under a single, unyielding rule. The internet, a tool for global connection in our world, is a tightly controlled web of information here. It's a digital iron curtain where every bite of information is scrutinized, a world where propaganda flows freely, but truth is a rare commodity. Think of it as a grand digital theater where every online act is a performance for the state's prying eyes. In this alternate 1940s and beyond, science and technology have taken a sinister turn. German engineering has not only pioneered advanced warfare technology, but has also reshaped everyday life. The skies are patrolled by drones, unblinking eyes that ensure obedience, while the streets are lined with machines that could belong in a science fiction novel. The autobahns and railways, once symbols of freedom and progress, are now the veins and arteries of a controlled state. High-speed trains and wide highways connect the vast expanse of the Reich, but at a price every movement, every journey, is tracked and recorded. The internet, as we cherish it, a haven of free thought and expression, is a shadow of itself. Here, it's an intranet, a closed loop of state-sanctioned information. Access to the outside world is a myth. The digital realm is just another tool in the arsenal of a regime that fears free thought more than anything else. In this world, technology is not a liberator, but a jailer. It's a chilling reminder of the potential of human innovation when harnessed for control rather than for advancement. Let's dive into the cultural metamorphosis in this alternate reality. Here, art is not an expression of the human spirit, but a tool for molding minds. The great masterpieces of history are reinterpreted, not as works of beauty, but as vehicles for ideology. Education has been transformed into a system of indoctrination. From their earliest years, children are taught not just to read and write, but to worship the Fuhrer as a demigod. Classrooms have become temples of propaganda, where history is rewritten and science serves the state's agenda. Propaganda is an art form in itself, a twisted symphony of words and images designed to instill unwavering loyalty and fear. Public spaces are adorned with banners and murals that glorify the Reich, creating a constant oppressive presence in everyday life. Music, literature, and film are no longer means of cultural expression, but instruments of state control. The works of Beethoven, Bach, and other greats are repurposed to serve the narrative of the Reich, their melodies echoing the regime's might. Now, let's explore the dynamics of power and resistance in this world. Despite the overwhelming might of the Reich, the human spirit remains unbroken. In the shadows of this totalitarian regime, resistance movements emerge, pockets of defiance in a sea of conformity. These movements, diverse in their origins and methods, share a common goal, to reclaim freedom and humanity from the clutches of tyranny. They remind us that even in the darkest of times, hope can flourish. Globally, the power dynamics have shifted dramatically. Allies and enemies are not defined by geography, but by ideology. The world is a chessboard, with each nation a piece in a game of survival and dominance. 
In this alternate reality, the consequences of unchecked power are laid bare. It's a world where might makes right, where moral compasses are skewed, and where the very essence of humanity is at stake. Yet, amidst this bleak landscape, there are glimmers of resistance, of courage, and of the indomitable human will to fight against oppression. It's a testament to the resilience of people when faced with the unthinkable. As our expedition through this startling alternate history draws to a close, I invite you to pause and ponder. What thoughts has this journey sparked in you? What reflections do you have on the world as it is, and the world that could have been? This isn't just a voyage through history's shadowy corridors. It's a conversation starter, a chance to engage with the what-ifs that shape our understanding of the past, present, and future. And now, it's your turn to join the dialogue. Dive into the comments below and share your insights. What struck you the most about this alternate reality? How do you think our world would be different if history had taken this dark turn? Your thoughts and perspectives are what make these explorations truly come alive. If you found this journey through history's alternate paths intriguing, don't forget to like this video. Your thumbs up helps guide more adventurers our way. And for those who haven't yet, consider subscribing to the channel. It's completely free and it ensures you won't miss out our upcoming videos.